I'm at the pool today. The plan was to swim, but walking over, um, I guess there are other plans because I fell and now probably should swim. Here's the pool and then my leg all bandaged up. Let's see what. Hey guys, so I shared with you a little bit earlier about how I fell and couldn't swim. So this, what was supposed to be a swimming video, has turned into moon care. Um, let me show you my leg and what to do. Give me just a minute. Okay, so this is my leg, how my friend helped me bandage it up just to be um, at the pool. Right now, I'm finally home. Oh, by the way, another cut down here. I have these antiseptic wipes. I also have hydrogen peroxide if I need it, some gauze pads and some band-aids if I need it, and of course a plastic bag to put all my trash in because I don't want it to float away, and a hose with running water. So the first the first step of cleaning my leg is taking all of this stuff off. I'm scared. Oh, the gauze isn't too bad. I'm scared about the other bandages, by the way. I'm also trying to hold my phone while I'm doing this, so sorry. Wow, oh my goodness. There we go. Sorry if this isn't the best video. Also, I'll put a little warning in. Don't watch this. It could be, it could become graphic. There's... Oh my goodness, this hurts. Okay, so let's go fast. Ow, there's that. I scraped it up pretty good. Very disappointed because I was really planning on having a nice time swimming. Mm. Ah. Ow, there we go. Okay, here's the fun part. This is probably also going to hurt. Just taking the hose and rinsing everything off. Ow, oh my goodness, this really hurts. Oh, it hurts things for sure. It is a little on a couple, though. So, in a way, I'm still playing with some water today. Oof, that really stings. Hang on a sec. Okay, for a second thing, I think this is too big to use these little towelettes, so I'm really gonna hurt myself now with some peroxide. But if it gets it clean, then. That's, that'll be good for it. So excuse me if I scream a little bit on this one. Ooh, it's going to hurt, I know that much. Ooh, look at a bubble. Mm -hmm. Down we go. That way, and... Ooh. And I need my foot. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, so, oh my goodness, well this is bubbling, why don't I share what happens? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, let's let the camera around. Guys, so, um, you see the peroxide on my knee right now, and like all the way down my leg? It's still bubbling, and it stings a lot. Anyway, so what happened was, oh my goodness, let me just move back. Oh, that's better. A little bit, it still stings. I think I'm supposed to rinse after, I'm not even sure right now. Anyway, I was, we were, I was walking with my friend towards the pool, and there was an uneven surface in the um, pavement, which I did not see until I was on the ground afterwards. And, like, my friend didn't even notice that, she just heard me scream and then noticed that I was on the ground and that's like how quickly it happened. I think that anyone probably would have tripped, not just one with SMA, but um, you never know. 
but it did happen to be me this time, so, I don't know, another damaged ego, I guess. <laughs> I spent a good 30 minutes crying because um, it was also embarrassing. Um, my friend was super sweet. She went back to her car to get a first aid kit to help, um, like, clean off a little bit. It was bleeding a lot when it first happened. Um, and then also, um, then she, uh, when she got back to me, <laughs> it was so much blood, like, blood was running down my leg. So then she took my keys and went back to my car to get the, um, Kleenex I had in my car to clean it up the best we could. So we did that in the park area where I had fallen. And then, um, we walked back to the car. Um, she had two band-aids for me, um before so we patched it up a little bit and then walked back to the cars and then I grabbed a water bottle out of my car and she helped um like clean my leg up the rest of the way and as you saw in the beginning like put the gauze on it and then I just instead of actually swimming she still wanted to swim and um well I honestly still did too but obviously with a, an open wound just knew I felt like I probably shouldn't because that would probably hurt for starters and could lead up to an infection so I didn't want to do that anyway so um so I went in with her and watched her swim for a bit and that was fun still wish I could have been in the pool but anyway so I just wanted to share that um watch where you're going because you never know what might happen but anyway, it's so awesome that I have friends that are super sweet like that.